The closing blockbuster is like a religious pilgrimage for us DVD Blu-ray nerds. Whenever you find one in, you know, the general area around you that's closing, it's like, you gotta go and you gotta do it. Do your prayers to, to the Blu-ray gods and you gotta go hit it up. And one of those happened around me, so I got a chance to go get some deals. And before this, I was actually kind of pissed because I had gone there a couple weeks ago when I found out they were closing and they had all the Blu-rays on sale for $5. I'm like, oh, that's not a bad deal because they're still open for like a mo one more month. And I went back there a couple days ago. They closed on the 20th. I went on the 17th. So that's a three-day window. And they had the Blu-rays on sale for $3.99. So $1 drop. And the DVDs were $3.99 too, which is just stupid. Who's going to pay $3.99 for a used Blockbuster DVD? Nobody. So I was upset that they didn't have any crazy $1 Blu-ray deals. But I still, I still had to buy some because I have no self-control. And I'm going to show you what I bought. X-Files, I want to believe. I was a huge fan of this show when it was on TV. When I was growing up, I loved this show. I wanted to be an FBI agent, chase down aliens, and chase down monsters and mutants and shit. Unfortunately, I found out and I was heartbroken that these kind of things don't exist in real life. And FBI agents, their style of work is nothing like this. It's mainly doing paperwork and sitting behind a desk, which is a huge buzzkill. But I wanted to see this so bad when I saw they were you know, releasing a new movie after seven years. And I was, let's just say I was slightly disappointed when I saw it. I wanted to give it another try. I haven't seen it since then. Watched it last night. And I do think this is kind of underappreciated, underrated. It's on its own. It's like a, a feature length X-Files episode. That was one of the ones that was an all right episode, but it wasn't fantastic. And it's just good to see Mulder and Scully back in action. If you haven't seen this movie, uh, it's about, there's these killings that start happening and this one FBI agent gets captured and there's this psychic that seems to know, you know, where things are happening. So they call in Mulder because he's dealt with that kind of stuff before and the uh, psychic is actually a priest who did molest children now I'm not saying that having a molester priest is gonna make your movie good but I'm definitely saying it's gonna make it not bad and that guy was cool the X-Files and I'm surprised that there's never been like a, a cool little spoof called the pedophiles and it's like that probably wouldn't be very tasteful though fantastic Actually, why not a fantastic movie. An alright movie, and it looks good on Blu-ray. It's got some solid special features. The pedophiles. <laughs> Sex Drive. This, there's few movies that have an amazing unrated cut. This is one of them. This thing is outrageous. If you watch the theatrical cut and the unrated cut, it's insanely different. This thing, they just have shots of, like, dongs. Like, white dongs, black dongs, just out of nowhere. Just, like, naked dudes' dicks just flapping in the screen. And it's ridiculous. And whole different lines of dialogue, improv, everything. James Mardson in this movie is so funny, especially in the Unrated Cut. He's got some clever lines. Oh, man. When I saw the trailer for this way back when it came out, I thought this looked like a piece of shit. Like an American Pie kind of sex comedy ripoff. But this is a, a, such a funny movie and one of my favorite comedies. And the directors and writers of this went on to do Hot Tub Time Machine, which I love as well. So I'm, I really like their stuff and... Sex Drive is fantastic. I love this movie so much. Youth and Revolt. This is a great comedy. I really like this one. And Michael Sarah is great in this movie. And I strive to. I want to be Francois. Please say I'm pointing with Francois. I'm not. Francois. I want to be him so badly. Whether that's a good thing or not, I strive to be like this guy. The mustache, the sunglasses, just the I don't give a F word attitude. Oh my God. Just I'm... An indie cool guy like that, that's who I want to be. No one would ever fuck with me. No one would ever slap my ass because I would be just the coolest guy around. I'd spit on the floor, I'd burn cigarettes, and I'd, I'd smoke cigarettes in the house and flush them down the toilet. I would be bad. I would be a rebel, you know. I would do some bad things, guys. Some very, very bad things. And, you know, I wasn't sure if this was a rental exclusive at first. And rental exclusives don't even get me started on rental exclusives because they suck. They suck a big one. What, what that one is that's big, I can't tell you because that's inappropriate. But they suck that. And I wasn't sure if this one was, but apparently it's not, which is good. Woo! Thank the Lord. So those are the three movies I got at the Block Blister. And uh, sad to see it go, but I like to have new things. What's the deal with rental exclusive? You know, it's like you, you get an exclusive, but it has nothing on it. There's no special features. It's... It's not exclusive, it's actually much worse than the regular release <laughs> airplane food. 